Young workers in China have begun treating job resignations, like wedding celebrations, as generational culture wars, over work-life balance continue in the country. Stress and overworked. Many just a few years into their careers, youngsters have begun celebrating, resigning from jobs they can no longer bear to do, Sina News reported. The trend has gained popularity via mainland social media, where images and videos of quitting parties, stories of last words to managers and similar anecdotes have begun appearing recently. Do you have questions about the biggest topics and trends from around the world? Get the answers with SCMP Knowledge. Our new platform of curated content with explainers, FAQs, analyses and infographics brought to you by our award-winning team. The most common reasons for leaving are long hours, bullying, toxic work environments, unrealistic targets, and poor work-life balance. Many take the opportunity to let managers and colleagues know how they really feel on their last day as a token of protest. One worker in China's southwestern Sichuan province revealed online that after he gave his notice, he immediately replaced his profile photo in the company's internal system with the words, a humble servant could not serve his master anymore. Ha ha ha, I feel pretty good, he added. Another woman changed her desktop wallpaper to a digital countdown clock on her last working day. I will leave my job next week, please stop bothering me. The text on the wallpaper read. A week later, the text was changed to, leaving my job in bright red font. Before her final working day, she highlighted the text in big, bold letters, in a red box and added new text stating, I am removed from the WeChat group for colleagues in southeastern China, please stop bothering me. Many organize parties with friends at home or in bars and restaurants to celebrate, with some going as far as erecting banners, praising the person's decision, or offering best wishes for their future. The phenomenon has caused further debate in China, where it is seen as an extension of the popular lying flat culture, or tangping in Chinese. Proponents of the movement advocate passive attitude towards career and ambition and opt to be content with doing the minimum required to survive. Tang Ping is increasingly viewed as a dream lifestyle among young people in China, burdened with intense competition caused by high youth unemployment and clashes between traditional and modern-day values. In May this year, a 29-year-old unemployed man who lived in a tent in an old car park in Sichuan province for more than 200 days attracted widespread media coverage. In the same month, a 24-year-old woman from central China was in the news for a DIY calendar that counted down the 4,500 days she had before her early retirement. One online observer said, times are changing and people want different ways of working and living. However, some questioned if the resignations had been thoroughly thought through. Have they thought about what they are going to do after leaving their jobs? Question one commenter.